Hi, this is Ming Chu, the injury guru. I am a uh, physical therapist here in New York City, and I specialize in soft tissue myofascial treatments. Today, I want to talk about the use of ice for acute injuries. What does your doctor usually tell you to do, let's say, after you sprain an ankle? The first thing they tell you to do is put an ice pack on it or, you know, a frozen can a bag of peas. The whole point is to uh, reduce the inflammation and also to take away the pain, which is all good. However, it is my belief that using ice actually impairs your body's ability to heal naturally. Now, I'm gonna get a little technical for a second, but uh, the body basically releases histamines, which uh, actually increases what we call cell wall permeability, meaning things can come in and out of the cell. By putting ice in this, at this particular crucial time, particularly when it's acute, you are actually blocking the body's ability to produce this histamine reaction, which is a necessary swelling, which in my opinion is a good thing for the first 24 to 48 hours. So I'll say that again, it sounds counterintuitive, but a little bit of swelling in the beginning of an injury, or at least right after an injury is what I meant to say, is actually a beneficial thing. Uh, it's been recorded that <clears throat> when you have a release of histamines, it also allows uh, items like IGF-1 and IGF-2, which are hormones that are produced by the liver, which are rebuilding hormones. Uh, they migrate to that area and it starts the healing process. Additionally, leukocytes or white blood cells also migrate to this area to take away all the damaged cells that were damaged in the injury, let's say in the sprained ankle. So the question here is this, when should I use ice? Should I ever use, use ice or should, is there an alternative that may be better? In my opinion, you should never use ice because it impairs that natural healing process. But the question is now, what do we use? Um, I've been doing this for quite some time and I've had some wonderful results using Chinese herbs. And the one I use is called Deep Dot Zhou. Sounds, sounds like uh, something you order in a Chinese restaurant, but it's actually a very well-known uh, Chinese herb. It has a, a 4,000 year old history. <clears throat> the Deep Dot Zhou, you can buy in any Chinese herbal shop. It's very expensive for like $20. You can have uh, a small bottle that'll last you a very long time. There are other uh, Chinese herbs too. They're called San Wan Sang and San Wan Gao. And these uh, Chinese herbs are also known in Western terms as Chinese herbal ice. So it'll give you basically the same results as icing would, but without the side effects. And the side effects are the impairment of the natural healing process. Additionally, I also want to say that by cooling an area too much, it actually decreases uh, the body's, uh, it makes, a, should I say, it increases the stiffness in the body, which uh, increases the viscosity of the tissue, which makes the area very rigid. So you ever notice when you ice something that it feels kind of tight afterwards? That's exactly what you don't want. So that's the price that you pay uh, for the anti-inflammation and the analgesia that ice will provide. The long-term effects of icing, I don't think is a good thing. I've had patients who have used ice and a year and a half later, they will still have stiffness and like they're not able to cut laterally or do the sporting events that they want to do. So anyway, I just wanted to pass that information on to you that the next time you have an acute injury, you may want to consider using Chinese herbs instead of just putting an ice pack on it and really rethink the whole situation. Um, one final thing, this video content is not intended for, uh, to be a substitute for professional advice or diagnosis or treatment. So seek your qualified uh, physician or medical professional uh, regarding your medical condition. Now, the problem is you have to find someone who's not thinking always inside the box, but find a medical professional that you respect and trust that can understand a different way of thinking where it's not so dogmatic. Anyway, uh, this is Ming Chu. The Injury Guru, Happy New Year, and I hope you guys uh, take care of your bodies and think about not always using ice and using Chinese herbs. Take care.